Hey guys, welcome back to the LARP Guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of Kalamazoo's cookeries. Now this one is a different color than the one they offer on their website because it was a one-off that Frederick's Forge got. Um, this is a really cool item and it's really well made as all Kalamazoo's stuff is. Uh, the grip is fairly comfortable. It's small, but I find it extremely comfortable and easy to get my hand around. The blade is very thick at least on the spine, and it's very thin towards the edge. Now it is a very top heavy weapon, but I still find it has a really good balance. With the, with the cookery design, you're always going to get a lot of top heavy because it's a chopping weapon. Now guys, what I do suggest is being careful with one of these. Since they are top heavy and with a very thin contact surface here, they do tend to hurt a bit. Um, now once the foam breaks in, it, I'm sure it will be better. But these are a rather rough weapon just because of the design of them is meant to be rough in that fashion. I mean, it's, it's got a good bounce, but there's a lot of weight swinging down behind it and the angle. Because you're kind of, you're aiming for this angle, not this angle when you're swinging. So if I was to swing this way, it's not so bad. But when I turned around, I'm actually kind of cutting through the target. So be careful with them guys. They, they can be a little painful, but that's just design of the actual weapon, not anything on Kalamazoo's part. Uh, like I said, great foam, great construction as always. There you go guys, Kalamazoo's cookery. Thanks for watching. As always, walk quietly, die loudly.